moment and go to our Father in heaven and invoke his blessing on this service. So stand to your feet with me, would you please? Our Father in heaven, this is a wonderful day. This is a day, Heavenly Father, that we in this country have set aside for a special celebration. I know there are other places in the world they do the same thing. They followed suit. I know there are some places where they wait till later in the year and, and do this, Heavenly Father. But it seems like in so many places around the world, people want to stop and say, thank you for our mothers, and we do that today, and we'll do it again in a moment. But Heavenly Father, this is a moment we want to remember you and remember how great you are and remember how precious you are and remember how wonderful it is to be in your presence and how wonderful it is to know that we can be there because of the complete and perfect work of Jesus Christ. We're here because of Jesus. No other reason. The Holy Spirit is here to glorify Jesus. It's only fit and proper that we glorify Jesus too, because you said unto him, Be glory in the church through Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, that's what we want. We want to glorify God here in this fellowship, this assembly, this worship this morning through Jesus Christ. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for sanctification. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for a pure word, a perfect word. Bless us today. Bless us and bring us in our hearts for those who needed healing, in our bodies for those who needed healing. But Heavenly Father, encouragement for those who may be discouraged. But Heavenly Father, show yourself mighty today. We thank you and bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And good morning again. I was listening to Fox uh, News this morning, and they were saying, uh, how much is a mother worth? And, uh, of course, they start out saying a mother is priceless. And then they came up with a figure, so much for this, so much for this, and so much for this. And they came up with $60,000 a year. <laughs> she got a raise. <laughs> but anyway, we know that the first uh, point that was made, that the mothers are priceless. And we're so thankful for all of our mothers. And we have a little token of appreciation that our youth would like to put into your hands this morning. And we're going to ask, if you will, mothers, all of you at this time, if you will, please stand in the choir, and one of you need to go to the choir. Okay, you, get, you can get the bags. And uh, mothers, if you would, please stand. And uh, we're going to recognize you at this time. And uh, these uh, youth will put into your hand a, uh, a gift from the church. And if you will be uh, ready to receive this. Uh, I hope we have enough. We have a few extras on the pew there, guys, if, uh, if we run out. And if we run out, we'll give you, a, I owe you a rain check or something. I don't know, I, I don't know what, how you do that. You give, give a rain check, give something? We have plenty. I think we have plenty. You, you, how many do we have? 75? That's how many. We have 75. But anyway, we do appreciate your mothers. Uh, your mothers. Uh, I was talking the other day while this is being done. I'll, I guess I'll live just a minute here. But uh, the other day, Brother Kevin and I were going to the hospital, and I was saying that at one time, Carolyn and me were in the sandwich generation. We were the meat. And when you get your gift, you can be seated. And, and we were the meat. Carolyn and me were the meat. And our parents were the bread on top. And our children, which one of them just came in, uh, one of our uh, 
sons, and, and they were the bottom part of the bread, and we were the meat in between, and now we are the upper part of the bread, and uh, Brother Kevin said, I guess I'm the mayonnaise of the mustard, so. <laughs> so you better be careful what you say, because sometimes I don't forget. <laughs> Thank you, mothers, for being here today, and at this time, we'd like to welcome our guests. We see that uh, the Parvins are here today for their sp special Mer Mother's Day greeting, and we thank you for being here. And if you're a guest today, uh, we'd like for you to remain seated. And uh, we're going to get to that baby dedication in just a minute. So let, let, them, let them be known. You know, I, I feel the same way, little lad. <laughs> just woo! <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but if you're a guest, would you remain seated and receive a guest card and fill out the information and put it on the offering plate a little later on the service? If you will be so kind as to do that, we'd appreciate it. And at this time, we'd like to ask our members to stand and welcome one another and say Happy Mother's Day. Sing with us, seek ye first. Very important for Mother's Day. Yes, and let's have the moms and dads and babies up here with me, please, in this moment. One of the joys of the ministry is to be able to participate with a family when the family 
dedicates their child to the, to the Lord Jesus Christ, to Almighty God. And we've done that with our three, and, and um, you know, it's just a special moment. Now let me say something, because somebody asked this question one time. When you're doing something like this, does it, is it like a christening or a baptism of a baby? No, it's not. This is a dedication not just of the baby. This is a dedication of mom and dad. This is a dedication of the entire family, a reminder that Jesus Christ is to be Lord in our families. That's what this is about. So we have a wonderful time and a rather vociferous audience this morning that we get to play with. We have little Hayden right here. Oops, look at me throw that right out of his mouth. Isn't he precious? Look at this thing. Man. He's something else. I got to hold this precious thing not too long after he was born. And... Um, yeah, he made that kind of face at me then, too. <laughs> there you go, Dad. <laughs> yeah, this is little Rebecca right here. Hey. And she just, she, I think last year there was maybe some illness or something that reason we couldn't have the dedication in time. But, but um, here we are. How about that? Are we doing a double here, or are we doing a... Is she just along for the ride? All right, very good. Now she don't want to let go. She likes me. Oh, Mason, it's all right, buddy. Come here and talk to me a minute. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. You know I do that. Too. They're applauding for you, too. How about that? Yeah. I hold, have to hold him for the rest of the service. <laughs> I have preached holding my children before, and it's all right. It doesn't bother me in the least. Michelle used to come up and stand beside me while I preached, and she would help me. So what we're doing this morning, and I've got my cheat notes here just so I won't say anything particularly wrong, but what we're doing this morning is we're, we're acknowledging and we are uh, confessing our dependence on the Lord Jesus Christ. And parents, that's what you're doing with your child and your children today. You're, you're renewing that in that moment. So let me ask you this, and if this is true, I want you to say, we do. Do you come professing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your lives this morning? And do you come to dedicate yourselves biblically to rear this child, these children, in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? And do you dedicate this child to the ultimate control and will of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning? And let me say this to the church, and if this is your answer, I would like for you to say we do as well. Do you agree to support these parents by your example through acts of service, and do you agree to reinforce biblical instruction for these parents and these children, as well as discipline and love under the supreme rule of Jesus Christ? If you do, say we do, please. Yes. And do you agree to pray for these parents and these children and their nurses? and their admonition say we will. we will very good the scripture says hear O Israel the Lord our God is one and you shall love the Lord with all your heart and with all your strength and with all your might and you take all of these things that God has said and you teach them to your children you teach them now we have a little gift and we want to give this to you and then I'm going to pray uh, for each one and um, each one of them we have, and this is for Mason Wayne Ladd and his little Bible and his little certificate. And this is for Rebecca Rem Mariah and, um, as well. And this one, thank you, we have for Mr. Hayden Daniel. And uh, we're grateful for this moment with these beautiful children. Now before I pray, would you just give them uh, a, a, a time of applause, please? Now, I won't pray for you. I won't pray for you. 
And I'm just, I just thank God for you. I, I sincerely do. And um, God loves 38th to the point that He put you in this church family for this moment, for the times in which we live. So let me pray, all right? Our Father in heaven, we do thank you so very much for this precious time, this wonderful time that we can take children, our children, and lift them before you and dedicate them to the Lord Jesus Christ and to the will of the Almighty in this moment. Heavenly Father, I pray for the parents. I pray for mom and dad. I pray for grandparents. I pray for aunts and uncles, all that are involved in the rearing of these children, for the church family as well. I pray, Heavenly Father, and I ask you, Heavenly Father, to bless us and to use us and to help us to be an example to, for these children. Help mom and dad to have wisdom. There'll be years coming, Heavenly Father, where they're going to need great wisdom to make important decisions. And we want to pray for them to have such a wisdom and such an understanding and such a love and such a compassion for their child. Always remembering that you, Heavenly Father, loved us in such a way that you talk about our relationship with you as a father-son relationship. Thank you, Father, for this. Bless us now. Be honored and glorified in Jesus' precious name. because they definitely will need the Lord's blessing in keeping, won't they? Yes, they will. All of them will. All right, we're going to sing Into My Heart. The praise team will come on out and join me. Uh, this is a song that I asked the choir Wednesday night. I said, how many of you knew this song? And about half of them knew it. And this was a song that uh, when Brother Kevin and I were little, we used to sing it in church. Uh, so some of them didn't know this song. <laughs> Into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. A lot of you will know that. So we're going to sing that through a couple of times, and then we'll stand and we'll all sing The Potter's Hand. Sing it again for our, for the new folks who don't know it. Here we go.
you to listen now as the praise team sings a song that comes right out of Psalms 46. Uh, there is a river, the streams whereof make glad the city of our God. And listen to the messages. A couple of songs combined. Listen to the messages in the songs.
Till I lay my head to rest I feel you near me You soothe me when I'm weary Oh Lord, for all the worst and all the best I am blessed All along the road let's try Oh! 